company sent me this cordless reciprocating saw, so let me open it up. I'll show you everything you get with it, and then we'll see how it works. When you open it up, the first thing you see here on top is the instruction manual. So yeah, if you need that, here is where all of the instructions are. The tool pulls out like this, wrapped in some bubble wrap. That is pretty cool looking. This thing actually looks very nice. I am really surprised in how this looks. Um, as you can see, this is not a DeWalt, um, but this does use uh, the DeWalt batteries. But when you put it up against another DeWalt tool, you can see there are definitely some similarities. So this is actually very nice. Also down in the box comes with a pack of blades. You get some different blades here. This is a um, six inch bimetal blade. Here's also another bimetal. Um, and then it comes with a nine inch and another nine inch, just different shapes. So it does come with a little four pack of variety of blades. And then lastly, it comes with this clip so you can actually put this little belt clip onto your um, reciprocating saw. So this saw comes with a no tool uh, blade design here. So if you'll see this kind of spins right here. So all you have to do is take your blade, put it in like this, spin this little piece, your blade will go down in there. Whenever you let go of it, the blade is locked in. So it's that easy to install one of these blades. Whenever you get ready to take the blade out, just twist it again and pull the blade out. The blade will also go in both directions here. So you can have it to where the, the teeth are up like this. Or you can install it where the teeth are down. The tool itself is pretty lightweight. It comes in in just a little over three pounds without the battery installed. Now, of course, the battery will add weight depending on what size battery you choose, whether you have one of the larger batteries or the smaller batteries. The battery just slides on like any of these tools. You pull the trigger and it works. It also has a little safety lock here. So if you press this safety lock in, you can't pull the trigger. And of course you can access the safety lock from either side. Whenever you get ready to use it, just press it open and there you go. So this does have a speed control setting here. You can't change the, the speed while you're using it, but if you press this, you see how it changes from red to yellow and then to green. So that determines your speed settings. So we can go ahead and press it on red. That's the slowest speed. We go all the way up to green and that's the higher speed. Next to it is a battery display here letting you know how much power that you have in this. To install the belt clip, you need to decide which side you want to install it on because you can install it on either side depending on um, which side that you want to use it with. Once you figure out which side that you want the belt clip on, there is a little hole down in here that you will have to drop the nut and then screw this into. So you would be putting this on like this and then screwing it through into the nut, but I'm not gonna be using that belt clip. As you can see, this does a great job at cutting through wood, um, especially if you needed to get something kind of in a tight, small space. I like the size of this, kind of the ease of using just a one-handed uh, reciprocating saw here. So yeah, I really like the feel of this. I like the looks of it because it matches with my other uh, tools with the DeWalt tools here. And I like the fact that I can just use these DeWalt batteries I don't have to try to find some other battery or try to keep some other brand battery uh, charged up. I just keep all of these and it works great. So yeah, I like the design, the feel of it. It also comes with this little wrist strap that you could use if you were um, up somewhere, up in the rafters or something, didn't want to drop this. That way it would catch if for some reason you did let go of it. So I kind of like that feature as well.